I'd be so grateful if you'd consider making a donation to my campaign. I sure need it to defend against the onslaught of attacks. Thank you for everything. James Comer, chairman of the House Oversight Committee. Uh, without objection, I'd like to enter that into the record. Without objection, so ordered. All right, beautiful. Okay, so we're never going to schedule this thing. It's never going to happen. He's sending out more subpoenas because he has no evidence. Okay, and yet here we go around and around and around. And so we get it. You'll raise money off of it. Congratulations to you. Uh, you know, if you want, Mr. Chairman, I can get the transcript out. I can do a spirited reading. We can sit here. I'll do all 200, 200, 250 pages for you. I'll even put on like a Biden mask, make it visual so you can like really get in the moment. Um, I mean, just, we just want to know like what's it going to take, Mr. Chairman, to get you comfortable you go, you go on Newsmax and you get comfortable. What's it going to take to get you comfortable to ask your friend, Chairman Jordan, sitting next to you, when we're going to schedule impeachment? So we'll do it again. Ready, ready? How about June, July, September? D does the gentleman know how many spare Biden masks there are available in D.C.? I don't, but there's a lot on Etsy. There's, I mean, you can get lots of things. Uh, thank you, Mr. Moskowitz. Um, there is an ethics principle that no solicitation of a campaign or political contribution may be linked to an action taken or to be taken by a member or employee in his or her official capacity. That's just a reminder to my side. I hope that nobody is linking specific actions that you're taking in the oversight committee to campaign contributions or solicitations. And uh, with that, I'll yield back to the distinguished Chair, gentleman from time's Florida. Time's expired. Does any other member seek recognition? Uh, Mr. Chair Chairman. recognizes Ms. Green. I'd like to know if any of the Democrats on this committee are employing uh, Judge Mershon's daughter. Please tell me what that has to do with Mayor Garland. Is she a porn star? Oh, Goldman. That's right. He's advising. Okay. He's advising. Do you, do you know what we're here for? You know we're here about oh, just a, uh, I don't think you know what you're here President. for. Well, you're the one talking about. I, guess I, I think your fake control. eyelashes are messing up. No, what you're ain't nothing. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> order, Mr. Chairman. That's beneath would even you order, 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 order of your committee. Order, please, Mr. Chairman. I I would just like to ask the parliamentarian if your conduct here in raising money in connection with this hearing uh, is referable to the ethics committee within this hearing. Is a motion in order to refer your conduct? Uh, and, and your abuse of... It's not a point of order. Mr. Point I do order. have a point of order, and I would like uh, to move to, to take down Ms. Green's words. That is absolutely okay. unacceptable. How dare you uh, 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 attack the physical fan, appearance of another fan. person? Are your move feelings hurt? her words down. Aww. Oh, oh, girl, baby girl. Oh, really? Don't even play, baby girl. We're gonna, I don't we think are going to move, and we're going to take your words down. Thank I you second that motion. So, so who will have to pay us? Okay. All right. We're suspending. The committee will reconvene. Miss uh, Miss Green has four minutes and twenty-one seconds. There's a motion. Uh, Miss Green, do you wish to strike your words? I have four minutes and twenty-one seconds to speak. I, I think we have to do the motion first, and then un unless there's another motion. Uh, then, then you'll be recognized again. But I believe there's another motion coming. So, you agree to strike your words? Yeah. I'll okay. Miss Green agrees to strike her words. I believe she should apologize. Recognize. No, no, no. Perry. Perry. Okay, hold on. Then, after Mr. Perry's going to be recognized, then Miss Green. I'm not apologizing. Well, seconds. then, okay, you're reserve not the right to object. Your I am Mr. not Mayor apologizing. Now let's go. Come on, guys. Why don't you debate me, and Mr. Chairman? Um, the, the, the I minority. Think it's self -evident. Chair you're not. Yeah, you're, you're not. Out of order. You don't have enough you're intelligence. Out of order. Chair recognizes Mr. Perry. Okay, move to strike I'd the. I move to strike the ladies' words. I move to strike the ladies' words again. Well. That's two requests to strike. That's two requests to strike. Oh, they cannot take the, the words. There's another motion to strike her words again. Please uh, okay, get here's, members here's the correct. The correct apology, Miss Green. Do you ask unanimous? Cons do you agree to unanimous consent to strike your words? I repeat again for the second time. Yes, I'll strike right. my words, that, but I'm not right. apologizing. Without objection. Without not objection. Apologizing. Chairman, I reserve the right to object. No. Chairman, I reserve the right to object. Mr. I Perry. reserve the right to object. Mr. Chairman, I move that Mr. Goldman's words and Ms. Ocasio-Cortez's words be stricken. Okay. Which words? And you have to do it contemporaneously. 
object. The objection must be contemporaneous, and they haven't spoken in 10 minutes. Nobody's spoken and said in 10 minutes. Well, that's right. Therefore, defeating your proposal. You all have. So those are the – those. Are, that's what I'm – that's my motion, Mr. Chairman. We, wasn't, we weren't able to. Well, I, I, I object. It doesn't refer to anything that's on the floor. Ms. Ocasio-Cortez objected immediately and instantaneously, as you're supposed to do under the rules and precedents recess of the House that, of Representatives. So the first time he could – Mr. Move Mr. Chairman, point, of, parl Mr. Mr. Chairman, point of parliamentary inquiry. Uh, look, we're we're going to suspend for a minute, but – Committee will come back to order. So, Ms. Green asked unanimous consent to strike her words. Mr. Raskin objected. I'm going to recognize Mr. Raskin for his objection. We're not counting against Ms. Green has four minutes and 21 seconds left. This will not count against her time. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I reserve the right to object because the understanding of the minority is that the general lady from Georgia would move to take her words down and strike her words and to offer a sincere apology for having engaged in personalities against another member offending her personal appearance and insulting her. We don't do that in this committee. And I, I think the major problem was that we allowed pornography in this committee and we've gone down a bad road. But in any event, we should not allow face-to-face -face ad hominem insults. It's totally contrary to the rules of the House of Representatives. And, and I would ask Ms. Green if she would just make the apology it's not that complicated. We don't want to get into face-to-face -face insults. You will never get an apology out of me. Uh, I don't I, know Then you I object. Right. Then I object, uh, Mr. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Raskins objects. The member will state the words he wishes taken down or she wishes taken well, down. Well, what I heard her say, but I would like her to repeat the words. What I heard her to say was, um, and you can take off your fake eyelashes, too. Well, then, well, what did you say? I mean. What did you say, Ms. Green? Really? What was I mean, sir? The, the clerk needs to report the words, but those okay, the clerk, that was the sum and substance. The clerk will report the words. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman. We could subpoena the audio tape. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Release the audio. It, it will just take us a few minutes to get okay. the words. Okay, we'll suspend. Aren't we here for audio? Chairman. I'd like Joe Biden's audio. Mr. Chairman, um, just a point of order here. I believe there are members who've been interviewed by the media from their seats. Do we allow that? They identify as um, clerks. That, that have Chairman, sorry. What are you like as clerks? That what? You're not respecting their identity? Wait, they're, they're, someone is being... Do, Okay. The, Is that allowed? For, for decorum, the media will evacuate the well. Mr. Chairman. At the request Mr. of the. Mr. Chairman. Complaint Netflix, of the ranking member. Netflix followed Hunter Biden into this room. I don't remember anyone across the aisle complaining about Hunter Biden, his TV film crew, when he came up here. That's a good point. Okay. Uh, Mr. Raskin withdrew the, the, this one. So. Um, well, it's very difficult for the stenographer to understand everything with everyone yelling and screaming back and forth. But we went through this with the – I would like to make a point. We went through this with some of the things that Mr. Swalwell said in the, the Hunter Biden deposition, some of the things that he said negative about some of the our staff and the members weren't picked up by the stenographer, unfortunately, because there was so much yelling. Fair enough, Mr. Chairman. But, the, you know, I think we don't want to see a complete dissent um, of our committee. And um, the, the verbatim quote, the ver verbatim quote of the general lady was, I think your fake eyelashes are messing up your reading. That is what she said. I think your fake eyelashes. And th that's obviously engaging in personalities. It's an ad hominem attack. And I would just ask every member of this committee, in a fair-minded way, would you want to be talked to um, in that way about your personal appearance by another member of the committee? Because what we're doing is we're setting standards going forward. All the general lady seeks is a simple apology, Ms. Green. Look, here, I, I will say this. Let's, for committee decorum, we're not supposed to engage in personalities of members. That applies to everyone on both sides of the aisle, Mr. Boskowitz, Ms. Green, every single member of, uh, across the aisle. Can we? <laughs> what did he say? He just threw Moskowitz into it for <laughs> Can we, are we, I, well, the, can we the, proceed? The, the motion belongs to the gentlelady from New York, Ms. Ocasio-Cortez. Okay, the clerk, how, 
Back to order. The clerk will report the stenographer. Mr. Chairman, there was a lot of over talking, but as far as we can make out, it's and you can remove your false eyelashes, too. Exactly. Well, let's have a, a vote on that, because I, I honestly don't think there's a member in this committee who would think we should descend to that level of discourse here, other than one, perhaps. You, you agree it should be taken down, Mr. Dons? Ms. Mr. Raskin, the gentlelady from Georgia already said that she would take she would strike down her words. What else are we doing past that point? What? I didn't realize apologies no, were a matter of... It's an agreement. No, the, of, no, the suggestion was made to the minority that rather than go through the process Mr. of formally taking your words down, which means she wouldn't be able to speak for the rest of our hearing, as you know, as you know, that she could continue to speak, but she would voluntarily uh, the, take your words the, the, down the, and the, offer a sincere I'm gonna apology. Roll, I'm going to roll, uh, uh, overrule the point of order. Uh, it wasn't personalities. It was undecorous. Uh, and I would encourage, again, every member to abide by committee decorum and let's vote. We all know what we're here for. You're either going to vote for it or against it. And, and, and the lady from Georgia has four minutes and 21 seconds Mr. Remaining. Chairman, Wait, point of order. I appealed the ruling of the chairman, Mr. Chairman, because the rules provide that you cannot insult another member's personal appearance or attire. Mm -hmm. And that is obviously part of engaging in personalities. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, hold on, hold on. We have so many motions. We're sitting here trying to. There's now a motion to table Mr. Raskin's motion. No, but I, I was appealing your motion. The, the, the motion by Mr. Perry, seconded by Mr. Uh, I don't believe Mr. you can Gosar. table motion. I, I don't believe you can ta table. It's not eligible oh, to is, table. Is, it's not eligible not to eligible table. To table. We can table the appeal. We can table the appeal. Can I, I don't know if we can table. Is the it underlying motion. To strike? We can table the appeal. They, There's a motion in second to table the appeal. Okay, the, just to be clear, your ruling was that she had not engaged in personalities. Mr. Is, is Chairman, that, that when ruling? do I have my I four said, minutes and 21 sorry. seconds? I've already ruled. I've already ruled. I've already ruled. Mr. Mo Chairman, point of order. I no, I no, there's a motion to vote on. It's not debatable. Motion by Mr. Perry, seconded by Mr. Gosar, to table. All those in favor of tabling signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, no. 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 Motion uh, passes to table. But now, move for the Perry eyes recognizes and the recognizes Ms. Green. Recorded. I want to move for the eyes and the recorded, recorded vote. vote. A recorded vote to table has been requested. The clerk will call the roll on the table. Twenty-one. The nays are nineteen, with one voting present. All right. Motion table. Now the chair recognizes Miss Green for four minutes and twenty-one seconds. Mr. Chair, point of order. Miss Crockett. I'm just curious, just to better understand your ruling. If someone on this committee then starts talking about somebody's bleach blonde, bad built, butch body, that would not be engaging in personalities, correct? A uh, uh, what now? Chairman, I'm I make a I make a motion to strike those I, words. I don't, I don't think that's Hold a on. part I'm of it. I'm trying to find clarification on what qualifies. Chairman, I, I motion to I strike no those idea words. What you just said. We're not gonna we're not gonna do this. Look, you guys earlier literally just said I, you just you just, you just first. voted to do it. I'm trying to get okay. clarification. Look at calm down. Calm no, down. no, 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 because this I is what y'all do. So I'm trying hey, to get your Ms. Crockett, you're not recognized. Ms. Crockett. I can't hear you with your yelling. You don't want calm me to down. Be, no. Can you please calm don't down? Don't tell me to calm down. Calm down. Because y'all talk calm noise, down. and then you you're can't take it. You're out of control. Because if I Look, come and talk shit about her, y'all don't have a problem. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman. All right, Chair, Chair, okay. Order. Chair now recognizes Ms. Green for for four minutes and 21 seconds. Four minutes. Let Miss Green talk, and then you all can, I'll recognize but her. I, I moved to side. strike her words for a second time based on her second set of personal remarks attacking another member. Who? Chairman Comer. Because you all cannot see to the apply the rules of the committee. Talk. We have to do this every time. Okay, I, I'm, recognized. I'm recognized. Order, order, I'm recognized. I'm going to go I'm ahead and start I'll, talking. Look, I, I know, I know. Look, I don't know if you noticed it. I have two hearing aids. I'm very deaf. I'm not understanding. Everybody's yelling. I'm doing the best I can. 
Can we not recognize Ms. Green and let we her We cannot get? because of the rules of the committee, Mr. Chair. That is uh, that is what I'm trying to communicate in the present moment. We have a motion. Okay, what's the motion? What's the, the motion? motion is to strike the gentlelady's words for the second set of remarks, not the first, the second. She that apply no to idea. me. She has no idea. I think, Mr. Chairman, I'm the only the one words, recognized words, right now. The, we objected at the time. The, the, will, the, the, will the member state the words she wishes to yes. struck? She told me or she she asserted that I was not intelligent. These are the specific words. We're like, we can have it read for, by the clerk. It, I, I, it was made immediately. And it was, it was made, made immediately. immediately. I am not I, moving I, I now. I don't think it was I am not moving now. It was now. made immediately both by the gentleman and by me. Mr. Chair, Chair, it was made immediately. It was made immediately both by the gentleman and by me. Return to us. Yes. She said, you don't have the intelligence to talk to me, is what she said. <laughs> <laughs> the chair recognizes... Ms. Green, for four minutes and 21 seconds. Mr. Chair, uh, what is no. happening with the, the ruling? I object to the ruling. Now. We must object. I mean, if you want to take it up. All right. Back in order. The committee will come back to order. Uh, the chair rules to strike the words that Ms. Green said, where she said that Ms. Ocasio-Cortez was not. What, said she what lacked she the intelligence okay. to speak to her when, in okay. fact, Ms. Ocasio-Cortez is a brilliant member of get, get so anything on me. <laughs> no, we so. should be on the record with what was happening. Okay, what she, I, we struck the words that she said, you're not intelligent. That Are we good on that? No, no. I, the words we have need, been struck. No, it was, I, no, 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 it was no, to no, take no, the words down. Yeah, Mr. Chairman. Coleman, you're out of order. Listen. Mr. Chairman, her motion was to take her words down, not to strike the words. It was to strike the words. That's what Ms. Ocasio-Cortez asked. Well, well, okay. Which, which, now. which is to take oh, them down. Is to, there's no which such is thing. to take them down. Which is to which take, is them, to take them down. Which is to take it's, them down. It's, They've it's, been taken down. All right. They've then that means down. that Ms. Right. Green has to leave now, the committee. Mr. Goldman, Mr. Speak Goldman you're out of order. Now, I want everyone to, uh, compl to let's comply <laughs> with the quorum. The chair recognizes Mr. Chairman. Ms. Green. For, Mr. No, Chairman. no, Her words no, were taken no. down. No, her yeah, words were taken chair, down. That means she cannot speak. The chair recognizes. If her words are stricken, she cannot speak. speak in this hearing. Talk to your parliamentarian. She has to get out. Without a, a motion under unanimous consent, the gentlelady is not permitted to speak for Chairman. the rest of the, this session. Yeah. And we're happy to revive our motion to adjourn, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> I think these 17-hour days might not work for us. Something about working, huh? Yeah, uh, maybe showing up for a vote. <laughs> you have a lot to say, being that you're on retainer for the judge's Chairman? daughter. Sorry, trust fund kids. Mr. Chairman. We should strike those words, too. I hope you brought your we, popcorn. Mr. Oh, Chairman, Chairman, strike we those after strike those we well. strike and the Mr. fact Chairman. that they called Mar they were making comments about Marjorie's body. So we can Mr. do this Chairman, all night long, but I have a motion. Mr. Chairman, at the this desk is out of control. Like we we should we should adjourn, Mr. Chairman. Motion at the desk. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman. I think my body's pretty good and I'm gonna be fifty Point of order. this month. I am. I turned fifty. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Pretty good. Mr. Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Miss Mr. Chairman. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, we have some members in the room who are drinking inside the hearing room who are not members of this hearing. Oh. Mr. Chairman. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, we have members who are not on this committee sitting in the hearing. We have room members hearing. talking who haven't been recognized. Mr. Chairman, point of inquiry. Mr. Chairman, point Democrats of inquiry. Democrats are against. Uh, Mr. Drink. Chairman, point of inquiry. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, Water. we're going to suspend. Go. We're going to suspend for five minutes while our staff work the parliamentary questions out. So this committee Mr. has Mr. suspended Chairman. for five minutes. It'd be a good time for everyone to go out and take Can a we break. we apologize to it's the American people out. back home five first? Minutes. That would be really good. committee will reconvene in five how minutes. sorry we are that we're not. The, the committee will reconvene. Members are advised they must observe the House's standard of decorum in debate and conduct. They must speak and act respectfully and may not use disorderly words or unparliamentarily language, such as words uh, uh, that uh, negative towards your colleagues or engage in personalities towards the president or senator. Does that count for a pre former president? Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. So the, the, uh, the, the, and the chair, I move 
that uh, the gentleman, the gentle lady from Georgia, be permitted to proceed in order. And I would object and ask for a recorded vote. The, the, uh, Mr. Raskins requested a recorded vote uh, for my motion to allow the gentle lady from Georgia to proceed. I vote yes. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Burchett votes aye. Ms. Green. Aye. Ms. Green votes aye. Ms. Bobert. No. Ms. Bobert votes no. Mr. Chairman, on this vote, the ayes are 22, the nays are 20. The motion passes. Uh, now recognize Ms. Green for four minutes and 21 seconds. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we're here tonight to hold Merrick Garland in contempt of Congress. And there has been complaint and complaint after complaint from the other side of the aisle. Now, I'd like to remind everyone that the American taxpayers were forced to pay millions and millions of dollars for the January 6th committee last Congress, who was convened during prime time, evening hours, and they hired an ABC News executive, uh, James Goldston, to produce these, these committee hearings. Actually had the American taxpayers pay for this. And, and Democrats are complaining about our committee hearing this evening. I'd also like to remind everyone that during the 117th Congress, we would vote until 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, many, many times, late at night. And that was when uh, Democrats controlled the House. But the worst thing about the January 6th committee is that the Speaker broke her own rules when she she produced this committee, created the committee. The Minority Leader appointed members of Congress to this committee, and they were denied being able to participate on the January 6th committee. This, this committee operated against the rules of Congress, it, it was procedurally defective. And today, right now, Peter Navarro is sitting in jail because he was held in contempt of Congress. And, and also, Steve Bannon has been held in contempt of Congress and could go to jail soon. Those are the consequences of when the Democrats controlled the House. They broke the rules. And the consequences are people have gone to jail and they may soon go to jail. And tonight, we're here to hold Merrick Garland in contempt of Congress. And this, this committee needs to be able to proceed forward to do that. I'd also like to remind the committee and anyone watching this that every single time we hold a committee hearing and oversight committee, the Democrats attack President Trump repeatedly. Doesn't matter what the issue is. Doesn't matter what the topic is. They can't produce facts. They can't produce anything to make your, their arguments. They make it about personal character attacks on the former president of the United States and our Republican presidential candidate. Every single time they attack President Trump. They think the way to win an argument is to attack President Trump. You talk about character attacks, it goes on and on. Also, uh, members of this committee attack me repeatedly over and over and over again, constantly. But they're offended when I say something back. And I think this, I think this needs to be called out, Mr. Chairman, because the hypocrisy is screaming and the American people watch it every single day. And I will not apologize for my words and I, I will not change them. And I will not, uh, tolerate being treated this way constantly on this committee and in other committees. Um, and I think that we need, if we're going to, uh, hold hearings like this and hold uh, Merrick Garland in contempt of Congress, I think we should move forward and go ahead and do that. But the, the actual behavior that happens uh, across the aisle in this committee of constant attacks on President Trump are unbelievable. And attacks on President Trump, um, the weaponized government against President Trump, I want you to know something. He may be sitting in a New York courtroom with a sham trial with a political judge whose daughter works for Democrats. But I'll tell you right now, now President Trump is up 10 points in Georgia because the American people see this for exactly what it is. They know what it is. And it's, it's completely wrong. And the fact that our heart, our American people's hard earned tax dollars 
uh, were spent on the January 6th committee with no accountability is wrong, too. I think Democrats should be held accountable for that and the wrongs that they've committed and the fact that Peter Navarro is in jail right now and Steve Bannon may have to go to jail soon. And um, uh, Mr. Chairman, I, I would ask that we can go ahead and move forward as soon as possible to hold Merrick Garland in contempt of Congress. Thank you. Get a lady yields.